Oh, hey, what's up, guys? How y'all doing? Hello, guys. My name is Pav Music Production. Most of you know me as Pav Beats. What's up? Right, guys, I would like to introduce you to something new that we're going to be doing. We are going to be running a full FL Studio 20 um, beginners kind of tutorial guide and then kind of leveraging on to a more kind of complex task and actually producing a whole beat in FL Studio. But the main aim, aim of, of this is if you're a beginner or someone who hasn't used FL Studio before, this is a great course for you as it will teach you all the fundamentals and everything you need to know to run FL Studio. So let's have a quick look on what we're going to be covering. So here in FL Studio, um, actually looking at our website first, okay, if we go into FL Studio tutorials on Producers Buzz, um, here at the bottom you will have something called FL Studio 20 Beginners Course. So click on that. And this will open up the actual full course. Now we are actually on the first video right over here. Welcome to the course. And as you can see, we'll be running through loads of different things like the introduction section where we actually look at how to um well how to try FL Studio for free first you know, like a free trial, what's the best version to use, how to use VST plugins in FL Studio, how to save and export high definition MP3 file in FL Studio, how, how to save and export um, definition web files, how to export project stems for sound engineers, really cool. Then we'll be looking at how to um, set up auto backup files in FL Studio, then how to set up your MIDI input and output in FL Studio, and then in section 3, uh, we'll be looking at um, pretty simple how to use the channel rack in FL Studio, um, how to use the mixer in FL Studio Part 2, and Part 3, how to use the playlist in FL Studio. Three very important things. Then after that, we'll go on to section four. Ugh, I'm talking so much. Can we have a break? <sighs> All right, let's go back. <laughs> All right, so. Um, back into this so section four we'll be creating a project template in fl studio then programming the drums grouping fl studio tracks to the mixer in fl studio creating a side chain setting up your midi keyboard again in fl studio automation clips we'll be looking at shortcuts you need to know in fl studio pretty quick shortcuts and um, then section five really cool part of this section we'll, we'll be looking at how to um basically um make a full EDM beat yeah full electronic dance music kind of track beat in FL Studio so the first section of this we'll be looking at um downloading the actual samples and presets I will actually provide you with like a preset pack that you guys can download onto your computer and work with me throughout the whole tutorial pretty cool part that that section five Okay, then we'll be looking at like inspiration and planning. Obviously, you want to kind of get the right inspiration and get the right planning before we dig into that. So we're going to do a bit of planning. Then we'll be looking at kind of drums we'll be styling. Then we'll be looking at the melody, any effects, then automations and the final composition. Now, these are the main kind of things. Obviously, um, before that, we would have um, covered everything that you need to know to make a full track so you would understand it and then uh, right at the end here we're going to be looking at creating and handling um, well the workflow tips so the first part is creating and handling backups in FL Studio back up your project sounds and computer files in FL Studio um, autosave definitely a lifesaver you wouldn't believe how many times my FL Studio used to crash and I'd be like ah! just crying my head out you know and this is definitely something that will save all that crying and all that anger just trying to smash your keyboard and stuff uh, it's not gonna happen because we're gonna create a backup lifesaver definitely alright so going back into this um, you know creating preset plugins in FL Studio so we'll be looking at that then maximum velocity from MIDI keyboard in FL Studio saving and exporting channel effect FL Studio shortcuts to maximize production so we've, we've all covered kind of few shortcuts before that but we'll be looking at more FL Studio shortcuts in here everything you need to know to maximize your workflow and make it much faster as you work 
then we'll be looking at organising samples and sounds in FL Studio, and last but not least, downloading and enabling VST plugins in FL Studio. So this is pretty much a really, really cool course that I'm really um, looking forward to teaching you. Pretty cool things and highlights of this tutorial, I would say, would be, um, uh, where is it? It's like creating the sidechain effect, um, you know, setting up automation clips, pretty cool, programming the drums, tracks, and then how to use the channel rack, the mixer, and the playlist. And obviously, we will run you through everything you need to know in FL Studio. So if you are a beginner, trust me, by the end of this course, free online course that I'm teaching you, I don't want anything for it. All I want you to do, guys, is hit the like, leave a comment, let me know your thoughts, check out our website, download free drum kits, and that's it. You know, I teach you, you show me some love, and that's all there is. So, this is the introduction to the course. Uh, we'll, we'll be starting off with FL Studio 20. And I'm pretty happy that we can now go to part two of this tutorial. Before I go to part two, just want to show you guys what some of the tracks I've produced. You can check out the link is below. It's pathbeat.com. And I've only got a few beats on there. So it's a pretty cool beat. Hey. Hey. Oh. I still love this beat, you know. Hey. I could just sit and chill to this. Hey. No, 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 no. Hey. All right. Next one. Next one. Next one. <laughs> but this is kind of like a chill beat. Kind of like this. Hmm. Baby, as you know, I actually made a song to this. Oh my god, should I share it with you? Puff on the crease. Hey, do the what? Hey, do the what? Hey, hey. <laughs> oh my god, hey, look at my hair. Because of the lockdown, I haven't been able to get a haircut, you know what I mean? Hey, yeah. Right, who's feeling this? So this is just some of my beats, you know. I actually used vocals pav on the beat throughout. Can you hear that? Pav on the beat. But I kind of made it into a synth, so you can't really tell. Talk about copyrighting a track, right? Who's feeling this one? Hey, who's ready? Yeah. But when I live a drip down, that's the I live a drip down. Spin around, spin around, spin around, spin around, spin around, spin around. Yeah. But when I live a drip down. Hey, hey, I'm feeling this one. I'm feeling this one. All right. And since I mentioned it, I have to show you guys my song now. I turn. I did turn it into a song. So this one here So I've got an actual track I have made few tracks and stuff Hey Uh-huh Yeah Hey Yeah Yeah People jealous now. I don't know why. Baby, you don't want my rust off. And then I'm flying high. Is it the way I talk? Yeah, the way I walk? Yeah, I ain't even really so I don't give a fuck. So tell me what's up. Tell me what's up. Come and so. This was a fun project to do, I really like it. Uh, all done in FL Studio, believe it or not. Really cool, you know, the vocal effects and everything. FL Studio is so powerful these days and you can do a lot of things. You can check out the full video below. Apart from that, I think I've given you a quick introduction about myself and about this FL Studio course. I think we're ready to start. So, right, those of you that have started watching, 
Okay, just letting you guys know that obviously this video has got video coming soon next to it. Anything with video coming soon means the tutorial will be up soon. I will try to get through this in about a week and a week and a half. All of these tutorials, record them and get them up for you. So I haven't actually started doing them. I've just written it down what I'm going to do and I'm going to go through it and cover it all. So I've planned it all out and I know what I'm doing. And that way you guys will have it so easy once you start watching the tutorials because they're all planned out and everything's just crusty all right all right so if you started watching make sure you hit the subscribe hit the like and i'll see you guys soon in the part two of this where we go straight into how to try fl studio free on mac and windows if you haven't got fl studio we will look at how to try it for free download it free trial and just test it